Hey guys, welcome back for another video review. Today I have the Perth Mint from Australia. It is 5 grams. And I got it a really good deal on AppMex's eBay website, or eBay account. You do not pay for shipping, it's free. And funny enough, the unit itself is going to be the same price on their eBay as it is on their website. Um, it's a really, really small bar. It's only 5 grams. But it is just really pretty. I'm probably going to swing for maybe a 20 gram. But the thing that throws me off about these bars is the bar itself is not inscribed with a serial number. Only the assay card is. So I don't know if that kind of scares me. But um, if I'm going to buy a big bar, um, pretty much anything over 500 bucks. I really want the bar itself to be inscribed. I feel like that's going to give my future buyer confidence to know that they're buying a bar um, that has not been swapped out. Um, it, it just feels like a more legitimate purpose, and buyer confidence is key. You know, if I don't feel confident as a buyer, I probably won't offer as much money. So, as a seller, I want to make my buyer as confident as possible. So, I'd rather pay the extra four or five bucks that a Pomp Suisse would cost and invest in that. I feel like I can get that money back in the future. But let me know what you guys think regarding that. Otherwise, the card itself, the SA card, is really presentable. It's a really nice card. It's uh, really high gloss. It almost feels like uh, plexiglass covers over it. Um, it's a little thicker of a card compared to the, the Pomp Suisse. But it is really, really nice. It's very presentable. It's very like uh, rigid. I, I really like looking at this card. I like showing this card. It's got a really high gloss mirror finish to it. I mean, you can even see it's it's reflecting my face and everything else in the background. Really presentable card. I don't know if that's because it's a solid color with not a lot going on compared to the Pomp Suisse. That's got you know a bunch of dashes going across and a bunch of letters and swirls. But itself is a really really nice card. Now, on the back, the kangaroos are really cool. I didn't expect to like them as much as I do. I thought I would really only like the swan. But the kangaroos, they, they really bring in the, um, the aspect of Australia into this bar. It, it really makes it feel Australian. Every time I look at it and I, I play with the card, I, I feel like I can just em envision this gold. You know, being stamped somewhere in Australia with some guy or a woman with some Aussie accent, hating his job, stamping bars all day long. But I don't know. I really, really like this card. I, it's just, in my opinion, really elegant. The the Swan. When I first got into stacking, I thought this was like a Swarovski card or something. But uh, I, I finally realized that it is uh, an Australian card. But it's just so elegant. It's really, really elegant. I mean, Lady Fortuna is elegant as well. She's almost got her own elegance. This card is just so simple. It's so... Um, I don't even know how to explain it. It just has this thing to it where it's elegant and it speaks volumes with very little going on. I mean, compare the two SA cards... And the pump kind of has a lot going on. I don't know. I would love to get a one ounce bar in this, but I'm just really afraid of the fact that the bar itself is not serial numbered. I really wish uh, the Perth Mint would start serial numbering their bars. You know, being one of the biggest um, minters around, you would think that they would start laser etching or stamping their bars, but... I guess not. Maybe it's just too expensive at the time. But anyway, thanks guys for watching. I've got plenty of stuff to review, so don't forget to subscribe. Uh, leave your comments below, rate the video, and let me know what you think. Thanks guys for watching, and I'm out.